We all have seen those colorful dupes running over ground in Berlin. But what are they for? Are they art? Do people live in them? And why don't just dig them in? Because they're so pretty. Ah, okay. Makes total sense. Right now there are over 60 kilometers of these tubes hanging around Berlin. This is the biggest one, this is the weirdest one, and that's the most colorful one. What they do is pretty simple. They pump and transport groundwater from construction sites to the river Spree. There is so much water to pump away in Berlin all the time because the city is actually built on a massive swamp. And because there's always a construction somewhere in Berlin, they seemingly stay forever. Construction companies could also use the normal sewer system of the city to get rid of the water. But that would be much more expensive. That would cost them a couple of euro per cubic meter. But using those, they only have to pay one euro per meter per month. That brings us to the last question. Why are some of them blue and some pink? Because the blue ones are male and the pink ones are female. Could be but it's probably due to the fact that they're offered by two different companies. The blue ones being from Brechtel and the pink ones from Pollems. Whereas Pollems has decided to make them pink thanks to the recommendations of psychologists. They said that generally children like the color pink and that adults themselves will be reminded to be young and cheerful. Tell me, is it working for you? Given all those facts, the colorful tubes will probably shape the visual nature of Berlin far in the future. And if you want to have a look at the biggest one of them all, it's right here on this little island at the Technical University of Berlin. Inside, it actually contains the world's biggest water circulation tank. Thanks for watching, see you next time.